Bull, 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 break your vision. You're hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Funko Pop video. Today, I'm gonna go through the top 10, my top 10 most expensive pops. Now, I'm going by PPG, it's a Funko app that actually gives you prices based on Funko themselves, and um, yeah, I got prices for everything, so these are gonna be my, out of my collection, not of all time, obviously, but just out of my collection, out of the pops I physically own, what are my top 10 most expensive pops? Thank you for watching, I really do appreciate you clicking on this video, you're beautiful, you're amazing, you're awesome, and let's go. Number 10 on the list is actually going to a pop I showed you guys recently, and it is Carl Grimes Bloody from 7-Eleven um, exclusive. This is an absolutely amazing pop. That is what it looks like. And um, so I'm gonna basically tell you how much it's worth and I'm gonna tell you how much I paid for it if I do remember. So this Carl Grimes 7-Eleven exclusive, it is in a pop protector. Um, I'm pretty sure almost every one of these are in protectors, almost all of them. Some of them are not because they're they're in bigger, like they're in bigger boxes, but um, Carl, this pop is worth $31. Um, I actually paid 40 so I, I lost a little money here, but this is just really hard to find. Um, I paid 40 for it, but it is currently worth $31. Um, back in the day when this pop came out, I'm looking right now, it was, it, this pop came out in 2014 and it's vaulted. So when it says vaulted on the app, if you want to know what I'm looking at, I'm just literally looking at the Funko app. When it says vaulted, that just means that it's no longer at 7-Eleven. They don't produce this pop anymore. So when it says vaulted on the app, that just means that they are no longer producing this pop anymore. So you can't go into a 7-Eleven and find this pop because it's vaulted. It's only worth $31. It has gone down in price. This used to be like $40, $50 um, like last year, but it's just gone down for whatever reason. But yeah, um, Carl Grimes, he comes in at my number 10 spot. And for our number nine spot on the list, of my top 10 most expensive Funko Pops, it is going to Basketball Mickey. I actually don't have a protector for this, because honestly, I really don't have that many protectors, but um, this is a Disney Park exclusive. There's an authentic little sticker on it, and um, it's basically just Mickey Mouse playing basketball. Um, I actually bought this off of the Disney website. It was, it was up for sale one time, and I just was like, hey, I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna buy it. So yeah, this is, um, it's on the app, it is saying $31, so it is matching the same price as Carl Grimes. It's a really cool pop, to be honest with you guys. I, I actually really, really do like this pop. Um, I believe I paid $25 for it. I think I paid $25 for it, um, $25, $30. So I mean, I really didn't pay much of what it's worth. And yeah, it's honestly a really cool pop. Um, it's from 2019, so it literally just came out last year. It says it's still available, so they are still making these pops, which is really cool to see. So if anybody wanted to get their hands on it, yeah, it's a really cool pop. And yeah, Basketball Mickey at our number nine spot. And guys, okay, so this is gonna be a big one at our number eight spot on the list of um, top 10 most expensive Funko Pops in my collection. It's, um, actually, I'm just trying to take these pops down at the moment. It is Tony the Tiger, guys. It is the 10-inch Tony the Tiger. This thing is absolutely insane, and, um, I really, really do enjoy this pop. This is a phenomenal Funko Pop. Um, this actually came out on the website, on the Funko Shop website, and, um, I actually didn't buy it. I actually, um, got it off of my cousin. I think he charged me... 35 30 35 I paid for it so I really did not pay too much I honestly don't even remember how much I paid for this I'm gonna be honest with you guys but this pop is worth $34 um it came out last year and it sold out on the Funko shop now remember if it sells out that doesn't mean it's vaulted that just means the Funko shop is no longer um uh, producing this and selling this um, the Funko shop is where you buy all the Funko shop exclusives Which has that little sticker on it and yeah, it's a really nice pop and the box is flawless It is in perfect condition and I love the little um, they're great on the back of it It looks really cool. And yeah, this is $34 and it comes in at um, Our number I'm honestly I'm forgetting already our number eight spots All right guys, so at our number seven spot um, honestly, I'm gonna say right now I'm um, kind of ashamed of this one because I paid so much money for it and it's really not worth anything now. Um, I learned my lesson uh, for this year's um, New York Comic Con, but um, I actually uh, did 
indeed have I do have um, Officer Freddy now Officer Freddy um, this is actually a really insane pop because I paid a lot of money for this pop like a lot of money and it's it went down so drastically guys like this pop in October this pop used to be worth so much and now it's not it's literally just not worth anything but um, it still comes in uh, uh, in this list at our number seven spots so this pop is currently worth $34 um, it's really it's really not really not good i paid 75 dollars for this i know it's really bad guys um but yeah it's a new york comic con so um there is a shared exclusive version of this which basically means it just has a different sticker on it that they were shell that they were selling at the funko shop and basically it'll just say fall 2019 exclusive but instead it says new york comic con i literally bought this off of somebody um at comic con and i'm kind of ashamed that i paid so much money for it and it's not worth anything but yeah let's get into our number six all right, everybody, so going back on uh, our number six spot, this is actually a really, really good, um, this is really good because I, I didn't pay too much money for this, and it's actually kind of worth a little bit more than you would probably think. So, um, since there's like, this is like the third, this is like the third pop now that's worth $34, um, I'm going to tell you how much I actually paid for this one as well. Um, so, this uh, Funko Pop is the Loch Ness Monster. Now, I actually bought this off of the shop for $15. Um, when this came out in the in the shop, now there's just like some plastic on here. It's just because this is a brand new pop protector and I don't really like to take the plastic off. But yeah, I paid $15 for this Funko Pop. It came right off the Funko Shop. Um, absolutely amazing pop. I always like to get um, like I either the ad icons, the myths are really cool. I just thought it was a really cool pop and I bought it. It sold out very, very quick and the price just skyrocketed. I mean, I paid 15 It's worth 34 So, you know, I if I did want to sell it, I would make a little bit of profit off of it. Um, it's going to go way up. I have some more pops over here that's worth way more than $34, guys. But, yeah, this comes in at our number six spot. We have the Loch Ness Monster. All right, guys. So, number five spot. This is cutting it halfway through the list. This is worth more than $34 this time. Um, and this is going to Sirius Black... Um, Harry Potter, it is a Chase, and it is a GameStop exclusive Funko Pop. Um, I actually got this from an antique store that I like to buy pops off of. I saw this. Um, he was selling it for 50 but uh, he gave me a he gave me like a really generous discount. He sold it to me for like 34 33 in the 30s I paid for this, so not too much money, and um, it's honestly a really cool pop. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, it says it's from 2018, so it's a couple years old at this point. It still says it's available, which is good. It's not completely cut off, like the Carl's one that I showed you, but this pop is worth $46, so I definitely did not pay $46 for this pop, which is good. You know, it's, it's always good to spend not too much on the pop and see the pop skyrocket in price. Now... I just want to say right now, um, as you guys are watching this, this is um, as of January 18th, 2020. The prices for Funko Pops always go up and down. It's always happening. Like in October, Carl, the Carl Pop I showed you, he was worth like $48. And he's down to like $31. Like, like the... The prices will always go up and down. So so just just know that I'm recording this on January 18th and the prices could change. But yeah, this is worth 46. Oh yeah, I thought this said 48. No, it's worth $46 on um, PPG, which is the pop price guide, which is the Funko app that everybody uses. Um, and yeah, honestly, it's a really cool pop. I really liked it. Um, mainly because I, I just like to get the chase pops. I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. I mean, I'm Star Wars. I'm not a huge uh, Harry Potter fan, to be honest with you guys. I just thought it looked really cool. And um, yeah, this so this is going to come in at our number five spots. Let's go on to number four. All right, guys. So this is actually a really good one. Um, I'm, I'm not even kidding when I tell you guys this. I'm very proud of myself about this pop because I did not pay a lot of money for it and it is worth a lot more than I would have expected. So let me give you guys the history before I show you the pop. So I actually got this pop at New York Comic Con um, 2019. So in October I got this pop and I was walking around the venue and I saw that one of the, um, one of the booths of people were actually selling mystery boxes. They were selling mystery boxes. They were $30 each and they come with four Funko pops and you have a chance of getting something expensive or not really that expensive and um i ripped the buy but i was like you know what i'm gonna buy it i wanted to take a risk so i went there paid the 30 bucks he gave me the mystery box the thing about the mystery boxes with funko is obviously once you pay them and you open up the box you cannot obviously give them back the box it's yours now you have to deal with whatever you got it's basically the whole point of mystery boxes and funko so 
I opened the box. I got three really common crappy pops. They're worth like eight bucks, five bucks. They're really not worth anything. I actually got a Fortnite pop, which was weird. Um, and um, I got one pop in there that's actually kind of worth something. And this is um, Animal. This is Muppets Animal. Now this is um, a really interesting Funko Pop. I'm gonna show you guys um, what this even looks like. Um, now I want to actually put my my flashlight on for you guys for this one because I really want you to see a lot of like the inside of it. Um, it's a really really nice pop. Now a lot of you guys might be confused because you see a four thousand um, on that sticker on the front of it. That literally means that when this Funko Pop came out, um, it was limited to four thousand pieces, which means there are only four thousand of these in the entire world, which is kind of crazy. Um, this is from 2016, so we are talking a a good while uh, since this pop has been released, and it is vaulted, so it's impossible to get this unless you buy it off of somebody. It's obviously no longer on the Funko Shop, and um, yeah, I, I really don't know how I got this. It was really random, and it's crazy to think that there's only 4,000 of these in the entire world. Um, this comes in at $55. It's wild. Yeah, I, I really don't know how it's going up. It did go up $5. It, when I first bought it, it was worth $50 or 45 It was like $45.50, but now it's up to $55. And um, it's crazy. I really don't know what to say. I only paid 30 bucks for four pops in a mystery box and I got this so Sometimes you win sometimes you lose when it comes to expensive pops, but um, I almost Traded this with somebody there. He wanted like I wanted like a $30 pop and then he was gonna get this But I was like nah, it's worth like 45 50 So I decided not to give this up. I almost gave this up, but I decided not to and uh, yeah, it's worth $55 Insane. I really cannot believe I have it. And I probably will never get rid of it. It's from um Disney the Muppets So you probably know what this is if you watch it. Um, oh, yeah, if you want to see like the sides of it um, this is what it looks like. I stuck it in a pop protector instantly. Actually, I think it came with a pop protector. It came with a pop protector. But yeah, that comes in at uh, number four spots. And let's get into the, the top three, guys. Here we go. All right, guys. So we are looking at the number three spot. Now, you guys are going to die when I tell you about this story. Um, so this Funko Pop, um, shout out to my boy Mike. He knows he knows this story. Um, uh, so I went to my antique store to buy this pop. And for some reason, they were gonna they were gonna charge me like 60, 70 bucks for this pop because it's an old pop. It's kind of expensive. And when I got up to um, ring it up, the lady just did not charge me that much. She charged me like 37. I think it was 37 dollars. So I paid 37 dollars for this pop. I don't know if she wasn't maybe she wasn't paying attention to what she was doing or. Maybe they just wanted to give me a discount, but I only paid thirty-seven dollars for this Funko Pop. Okay, are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? And three, two, one. We have the original Sully from the Disney. What is that? Disney Store. I almost said Disney Shop. Um, this guy is not worth certain thirty-seven dollars. He's worth fifty-five. So actually, he's matching the animal as well. Um, insane, insane. I only paid thirty-seven dollars for this. It is wild. It's, um, I'm going to have to say out of every pop here, this is my favorite Funko Pop I own. Um, there is, um, the number one spot is one of my favorites as well. But, um, yeah, so Sully. Sully comes in, um, mainly because he's worth $55. If you click on the PPG, this pop is from 2013, guys. 2013 it's wild obviously it's um it's vaulted it's impossible to get um i really cannot believe how good of condition this box was in i mean there is like a little like dink at the top of it but it's really good i mean i don't know i, I got it off of um an antique store and it's really really nice and um yeah this is a very 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 old pop and um yeah it comes in at uh our number three spot guys Okay, so number two, so I actually didn't realize that there were so many pops on this list that are worth the same. Um, I really did not know that. So the way I organized this list was I was going to put um, the number two spot. I was going to join them by two because they're both worth the, um, the same amount of price. So I'm going to do that because... I can and I really it's fine so number two is gonna be split by two pops that I own that are both worth the same amount of price they're actually worth like a decent amount so we're gonna I'm gonna, gonna pull this out from back here this is the Sanderson sisters this is a um a three a three 
uh, people pop. This is actually a really, really cool Funko Pop. It's called Movie Moments, and it's um, it's from Hocus Pocus. It's um, uh, it's a Spirit Halloween exclusive. I bought this pop in October, um, right before, like a little bit before Halloween. Um, I literally just went into a um. A Spirit Halloween, and I believe I, oh no, this has got dust on it, it's, it's literally got dust on it guys, because it's been in there for a few months, um, I paid 30 something, 37, 40 maybe, something around that, 30, between like 35 and like 40, 42, um, honestly it's a really good pop, I didn't expect it to shoot up in price so much, I really cannot believe it's worth so much money, and um, I don't know, to be honest with you, I'm not really too into this pop, I just bought it because it had a Spirit, it, a Spirit Halloween exclusive sticker on it, and I was like, you know what? That's really cool, you know? I really don't buy many pops, so, um, yeah, this actually comes in at $60, guys. Like, I'm not even playing around. This is worth $60. It's insane. It's, um, it's worth a lot of money, and, um, I did not pay $60 for this. I paid a lot less, and honestly, if somebody really wanted this, like, honestly, like, maybe I would sell it to somebody, because, like, I'm not really... I'm not really into this. I don't know. It's okay, but yeah, this um, goes in at number two. And then the one to share the number two spots is actually going to be Freddy Funko. Um, this is um, this is actually a really, really interesting pop because I actually paid more than what it's worth. So this is worth 60 as well. Um, this is from 2015, guys. So we're looking like five years ago. Um, there's only 500 of these pops um, in the world, you had to go to um, San Diego Comic Con in 2015. It's a really, really cool pop. Um, I paid like $80 for it, maybe $75. So I definitely paid more than it's worth. Um, but at the time when I bought this, the price was a little bit higher. It has gone down. But, um, you know, it's a really cool pop. I've never, ever taken it out of the box because, you know, it's just worth so much. Like $60, like no matter how you look at it, $60 is a lot, you know? Like, that's the bottom of it, that's the top. Um, the back of it's really cool because it's like, it's an old pop and like you know it's an old pop because you don't really see that design anymore. But yeah, so these two pops are both worth $60. It's crazy, I honestly cannot believe they're worth so much. Um, I'm more shocked about the Spirit Halloween Sanderson Sisters. This was worth a little bit more but it's gone down. Um, let me know guys, let me know if you have any of these pops or if you've ever seen any of these pops anywhere. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go into the number one spot right now. Okay guys, so the number one spot on our list I actually recently just picked up and this pop is insane. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this is probably my second favorite pop in my entire collection except for Sully. Um, I'm gonna say this is probably my second favorite pop. Um, I did pay a lot of money for this because I really, really wanted it. I really, really liked it. I recently just bought it and um, I'm gonna show you guys right now what this is this is two can sam this is worth 140 dollars um this is insane this is like one of the hottest pops people want this is like this is like just it's like it's like almost like a grail if you know what that is grails are like really expensive pops that people want but can't get their hands on um it did come in a hard stack. I bought it off of Funko Pop Central. He's a YouTuber that's quitting Funko Pops, and he was selling this for $10 less than what it was worth. So, um, yeah, I bought it for $130. I know I paid $130 for this pop. Um, it's actually the most I've ever paid for a Funko Pop before. I really wanted it, and I... To be honest with you guys, I really jumped on this because I know that he, um, Funko Pop Central, the YouTuber that was selling this, he had like thousands and thousands and thousands of people who was actually interested in buying this. So as soon as he posted the video, I literally went right to him. I emailed him instantly and I sent him the payment and he got my address and he sent it to me. So um, it's a really, really cool pop and uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I would not sell this Excuse me, I would not sell this for anything. Um, I Even if you gave me like $200, I don't know if I could sell it because it's like really hard to find this. And I don't know, it's a really good pop and it, it really does mean a lot to me. And I know I paid a lot of money for it, but to be honest with you guys, like this is one of my favorite pops. This is probably my second favorite pop um, I own. Fun fact, actually, this was from 2018, and if you actually, um, I know the, the pop protector's a little loose, but if you, um, if you actually did pay, if you paid 
Um, if you actually paid attention to the Funko Shop back in 2018, you actually could have bought this for $15 on the shop. Just like I told you guys with this pop, remember I told you guys how I bought Loch Ness Monster off of the Funko Shop? I bought him for $15. Now he's worth like $30, $35, but I bought him for $15. It's literally the exact same situation with this pop. You could have bought this for $15 back in 2018 if you actually were on the Funko Shop. Now, obviously, in 2018, I was not collecting Funko Pops. I only started getting into Funko Pops August of last year. That's really when I started getting into this whole thing. So, obviously, I missed out on paying $15 for this. But just for future reference, if you guys see it, if you guys even pay attention to the Funko Shop, and you see something like like an ad icon, like this is an ad icon, ad icons usually always sell. It's just how it goes. A lot of people love buying the ad icons, and if you ever see an ad icon on the Funko Shop that you think is really cool, maybe buy it, because you never know what can happen. Like, two years ago, if I would have told you that you should buy this, because it's going to be worth $140, you would literally look at me like I'm crazy, because you're like, you're like, bricks, it's literally worth $15 on the shop. How could this ever go to $140? but it really does and it's crazy but yeah that is uh, my top 10 most expensive Funko Pops in my collection if you want me to do any other Funko Shop video let me know in the comments down below um honestly I'm kind of tempted to do like my top 10 most like inexpensive like my cheapest ones that I have and how much I paid for them because it would be really interesting to see like say I paid like $30 for a pop that's worth $5 now like it'd be really interesting to see that so if you want to see that or if you don't let me know and I might make a video on my top 10 most least expensive Funko Pops we did my top 10 most expensive Funko Pops and yeah I hope everybody has a fantastic rest of your day thank you for watching you are beautiful you are amazing you are awesome and um yeah, thank you for coming to the video. I really do appreciate your face, and I seriously do. I want you to know that. You come into these videos, like, I know they're not Fortnite, I know they're not video games, but just, like, this This is what makes me happy, you know? Like, I love making videos on Funko Pops, and, like, I just like making these kinds of videos. They're just really fun, and they're, they're easy, because I don't have to worry about connecting anything to my computer and having an error. It's literally just from my webcam, where I stream off of. So, yeah, if you guys ever want to catch my live streams, remember, I, sw I, um, I do stream on Twitch. The link is always in the description of every one of my videos. Thank you so much you are absolutely amazing you're beautiful you're awesome don't forget to smile because you're all beautiful people have a nice day everybody bull 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 breaks your vision out